Hey, 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 what's going on to the family? How's everybody doing? Happy Magnificent Monday. See Temptation here with another video of Chicago Talk. Want to say peace and blessings and namaste to you. And I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Now, today's video, I'm not going to be on here that long though, but I do want to express my feelings about Kanye West. Now, I don't want to, you know, I have to choose my words carefully. I don't want him to think, you know, want to think that I'm trying to deliver a hate speech. That's definitely not the case. I'm not trying to deliver my hate speech, but I do want to put my input on this here. Only thing I got to say is I don't have anything against Kanye West, you know, but he needs to be exceptionally careful, you know, and in a sense, he kind of disappointed me because when he had that meeting with Donald Trump and talking about free Larry Hoover, you know, Larry, I mean, let's, let's be real. Larry Hoover is a criminal. I mean, that was the guy that once upon a time ran black gangster disciples. So my thing is this. You know, he's talking this mess about free Larry Hoover. Hell, he might as well, you know, talk about free Jeff Ford. I mean, but if you want to really get down and get real with it, though, I mean, you know, the person he should have been talking about was Bill Cosby. If you're talking about freeing somebody and standing on something, but the reality of the situation is Donald Trump don't give a flying floozy about Kanye West. Only thing he's worried about is what he can do. You know, he's, he's, all, about, he's all about those coins if you want to get down with it. You know, he ain't caring about what Kanye West is saying. And as far as him is concerned, you know, he has mental issues. I'm fully aware of that. But my thing is he really need to be focusing on trying to take care of his family, take care of his kids, and mainly take care of himself. You know, he really need to get some serious help. I'm drinking my hot coffee, and I'm really loving this. Um, and shout out to uh, the guy at Dunkin' Donuts who had fixed my coffee. I mean, he was on the mark with it. But Kanye West, back to him, he really needs to get his priorities together. And I'm quite sure that if his mother was alive, she probably would have straight told him, go sit your ass down somewhere because what you're doing is not cool. It's not a good look. You're making yourself look bad. And plus, you being a native of, from Chicago as well, you're making Chicago look bad, whether you believe it or you don't believe it. You know, but when I saw when he was talking to President Trump the other day, they kind of disappointed me because... You know, he's, you know, and, and I have to agree with what Snoop was talking about when he had said that he's being brainwashed. Contrary to popular opinion, though, I really feel that he's telling the truth. I mean, he's being brainwashed, you know, and stop being such a cone, though, because what you're doing is not good. I mean, you need to be doing something in another way to, to represent black people in a positive way. I mean, people like Chance the Rapper. You don't see him doing no mess like that. You know, he helps the people in Chicago, but you don't see him carrying on like that. So think about it. So ladies and gentlemen, to all of my subscribers, and again, thank you so very much for supporting your girl C Temptation in this channel. Please leave a comment on the bottom and let me know, express your feelings on what you think about this Kanye West situation, because I know everybody in Chicago is talking about it. And it kind of saddens me because, you know, I know he knows better and he could do better, you know, and especially with him having some issues mentally. I mean, he really need to focus on trying to get some help. I mean, because he kind of, he really did disappoint me. And plus, on top of that, he's coming out with new music and trying to mix that with politics. Those two things do not mix at all you know and what he's doing with what you know trying to speak in front of the president of the united states talking about freeing a criminal and doing six life sentences larry hoover is not going anywhere you know and he's not even thinking on those guidelines in terms about freeing him that's that's just not going to happen you know and i hate to say this though and i know he's a brother but mm -mm. They, they they you know they don't think like that and knowing they're talking about stepping to white supremacy to do something like that, that ain't going on. So, But yeah, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Express your feelings. And the main thing I'm asking to, for you guys to do is to share and subscribe. Share and subscribe. Make sure you tell all your friends about me. Um, like I said, and make sure you hit the notification bell, you know, of new videos, even though it's been kind of hard for me because me working every day, you know, and I'd be tired and then doing other things. It's just, it's hard though, but I'll try to do the best I can though, but I haven't gone anywhere. It's just, like I said, I haven't had a chance to do as many videos like I used to. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And as you guys already know, I'm going to say that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. 
And until my next video, you know, because this was kind of heavy on my mind and I had to say this, you know, and I had to, you know, to present it to everybody, you know, in terms of my intake about the story. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this mic. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Stay strong, stay positive, and always keep the creator first and one love.